हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक द टॉपिक इज सैंडविच टेक्निक फ्रॉम जी आई सीज और कॉम्पोज नाउ वट एग्जैक्टली इज सैंडविच टेक्निक नाउ दिस टेक्निक इट वॉज डेवलप बाई मैकलिस एंड दिस इज नोन एज सैंडविच टेक्निक बिकॉज इट रिसम्बल्स अ सैंडविच नाउ दिस इज अ सैंडविच इन विच नाउ यू हैव टू पीसेस ऑफ ब्रेड एंड इन बिटवीन दिस ब्रेड यू हैव दिस स्टफिंग सो बेसिकली दिस इज द सेम थिंग ओवर यू नो दिस इज योर टूथ सर्फेस एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द रेस्टोरेटिव मटीरियल सो दीज टू दे एक्ट एज योर ब्रेड एंड इन बिटवीन यू हैव दिस स्टफिंग विद दी जी आई सी so this is the sandwich technique so basically in this sandwich technique what you do is now the restoration is done in which first you place a gic and over that gic you place a composite resin so in this a high strength facing it is bonded to a low strength central core so this is your central core so this is a low strength material and over here this is a high strength facing and in this now you use a gic or a flowable composite material as a liner under some composite material so over here this is your composite restoration and like under this composite restoration there is a gic or it can be a flowable composite material now why are you doing this so it is done to combine the beneficial properties of both that is gic and composite now gic and composite they individually have their own advantages so to combine the advantages of both you do this sandwich technique so now what are the various types of the sandwich technique so it is closed and open now closed is when your gic that is your liner it is not exposed to the oral cavity and open is when your gic it is exposed to the oral cavity so this open is usually used for a class 2 restoration now over here this is a closed so this is your gic now this gic it is covered with the composite so in this the gic it com is completely closed and it is not exposed to the oral cavity or it is not coming in contact with the oral cavity whereas in open now you can see this is your gic so this gic is coming in contact with your oral environment so this is a like open sandwich technique and this is a closed sandwich technique now this closed sandwich technique it also can be used in class 2 now in this now for example this is your gic so instead of this gic which is coming in like contact with the oral environment you cover it with the composite so this becomes a closed sandwich technique for your class 2 so now what are the benefits as a liner now we have seen like we can use gic or flowable composite as a liner so now this gic and flowable composite they both have their own advantages so the gic it bonds both to the tooth surface and the composite now you are using gic and over that you are using a composite so this gic it bonds like properly to the tooth surface because under the gic you have tooth surface and above gic you have composite so this gic it bonds properly to both the things and because of that it increases the retention form and it provides better seal and over here now you have fluoride in gic so because of that it reduces the potential for recurrent caries so these are the advantages of using the gic as a liner now what are the advantages of using a flowable composite as a liner so this flowable composite it acts as a shock absorber it distributes the stresses which are applied to a more rigid composite now these forces are applied to your composite so if you use a flowable composite under a normal composite so it helps in distributing the stresses evenly then it may reduce some of the negative effects of the polymerization shrinkage now this is a major disadvantage of the composite so when you are using a flowable composite like under the normal composite so it helps in reducing that polymerization shrinkage of the composite material now what are the indications of using this sandwich technique so it can be used in class 5 it can be used in class 2 composite restoration or it can be used in which the gingival margin of the class 2 preparation it has extended past the cemento enamel junction so these are the three indications of your sandwich technique now what are the advantages of the sandwich technique so in this the polymerization shrinkage is less due to reduced bulk of composite now the composite they have the major disadvantage that there is polymerization shrinkage and now the composite so the bulk of the composite is reduced because now under composite you you can use a gic or you can use a flowable composite so because of that the bulk of your composite is getting reduced and because of that the polymerization shrinkage is also getting less then there is favorable pulpal response then it chemically bonds properly to the tooth then that there is anti cariogenic properties because now if you are placing a gic so it has that fluorides which are present in it so because of that there are this anti cariogenic property and then it has better strength finishing aesthetics of the overlying composite resin so these are the various advantages of doing the sandwich technique so now how you clinically do this sandwich technique so first thing what you do is you prepare a class 2 or a class 1 cavity now over here this is a class 2 cavity that we have prepared the next is first you have like done the preparation of the cavity then you do the pre conditioning so you condition the dentin and the enamel surface 
using an acid conditioner so what is the function of this conditioner so this conditioner it creates a stronger bond between the tooth and the gic as it is removing the smear layer and the debris from the tooth surface so the conditioner that you can use can be a citric acid or it can be a polyacrylic acid so over here now you have done the like preparation of the cavity so now as this was a class 2 so we do the matricing system over here as we need to build up that wall and after that what you do so this matricing is done basically in class 2 only you don't do this in class 1 obviously and then you do this preconditioning with the help of a polyacrylic acid and then you place a increment of gic over the cavity floor so first you have prepared the cavity then you have done the preconditioning so then we have seen that first first we are placing a gic so over here now you are placing a gic over the cavity floor extending up to the dj around the perimeter of the preparation or it can be just short of a cavo surface margin at the base of the proximal box so over here so this is the placement of the gic in class 2 so first now you have placed the first layer of your gic that is your first restorative material then after setting of your gic you etch the enamel and the gic with the help of orthophosphoric acid for 15 second so this is the basic like steps that you do for your composites so now you have done the like placement of your gic so after the setting of your gic so after the gic it gets set properly so you are going to etch the enamel and the gic with the help of orthophosphoric acid for 15 seconds so why are you doing this so this will help to improve the micro mechanical bond to the composite resin so when you are doing the composite restoration so in that also you do the etching of the enamel so this is the next thing that you do that you are etching the enamel and after that what you are going to do is you are going to place a enamel bonding agent over that etch surface so this is like you are placing a enamel bonding agent so now you have placed that etchant so you are going to remove that etchant and then you are going to place a very thin layer of this enamel bonding agent and lastly you are going to place the composite resin over that gic and you are going to light cure it in increments so this is basically how you do so this is like you are placing the composite over it and you are going to place the composite in increments as you do for the normal composite restoration and then you are going to light cure it and this is basically the next and the last thing that you do for your sandwich technique that is you are placing the composite resin and after finishing and polishing so this is basically how it looks so this is the complete restoration that you have done in which you have first placed the gic and over that gic you have placed a composite resin so this is also an example of the sandwich technique in which you have done the preparation then over here you are doing the preconditioning then you have applied the gic then you are allowing the gic to get set properly after that you are etching the surface then you do the like you apply the enamel bonding agent and over here you are doing the like applying the composite resin in increments so this is basically like this was the initial thing and after doing the sandwich technique it looks like this so this is the sandwich technique that you do so this was all about the sandwich technique i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please like comment share and do subscribe thank you so much